Hi and welcome back. Today I'm creating a mixed media canvas uh, with a little bit of collaging and the Neo Color crayons. The canvas that I'm using had some paint on it and I just covered it uh, with gesso. And here I am cutting some paper pieces from my jelly prints to create kind of a seascape. I will speed up this process a little bit so you don't get bored and then I will come back to real time when I start creating. After I have arranged all the papers, I glue them down. I started a bit um, too high, so I have to cut some more papers later, but I don't mind that. I just picked bluish colored papers and cut them to a wavy border. Here I'm using gel medium to stick them down. The scraper tool I'm using is normally used in the kitchen and I found a set of five on Amazon. I really love this tool to use it with gel or to use it with gesso. Finally, I'm going over it with the Callisto Scraper tool. I have this forever and I have never used it. And recently I discovered that this works really great for collaging because it is very hard. It's not as soft as the scraper was and it takes off the excess of the gel and also presses the papers down very good. Here I'm adding some gesso to the top because I feel that the background is showing through too much. I let this dry completely and then I go in with the Neocolor crayons. I'm just scribbling them to the canvas and then I blend the colors in also with gesso. I really like this technique because it makes the crayons waterproof and it's also a nice way to add some soft color without, um, without having to mix some acrylics. It's uh, just less effort and it's a quicker way.
I'm scribbling some marks with a pastel pencil onto my canvas. I don't mind scribbling into the wet paint. This is also a very interesting effect, I think. I want to tone down the jelly prints a little, so I go over them uh, with the gesso. I'm using a baby wipe to remove some of the gesso again, so I I bring back the pattern. Again, I let this dry. When I'm creating such mixed media pieces, I often create more than only one piece. So I have always something to do in between the drying time. And here I've stamped the whale from the Whale Wishes stamp set to just some plain white printer paper. And I stick it down with gel medium. And when this is dry, I come back in with the Neo Colors again to add some more intense color. Of course, if you don't have the Neocolor crayons, you can use any water-soluble crayon you have. This will work with the Stabilo Woodies or with the Dino Wakely Scribble Sticks or the Gelatos. As always, you will find a blog post with some photos of the finished piece in my video description.
I let this dry again and then I come in with a little bit of stamping to make more marks on the spread and to make everything more interesting. Here I'm using this wavy border from the pencil marks stamp set. I want to make the colors pop a little more and for that I am outlining the whole canvas with the black crayon. I feel that always makes a colorful piece more vibrant. And now I'm just playing with the crayons. Um, it's more intuitive and it's my favorite step in such a project to add final details and more color. It's just fun, I feel. I'm also adding crayons to the whale because I feel it is so separated from the whole canvas and I want to uh, integrate it more so I just give it a painterly look by coloring in um, this one also with the crayons. I don't mind if I cover up 
some of the doodles inside of it. Um, this becomes just a kind of a background uh, texture. Now everything is dry and I come in with the oil pastels. I so enjoy using them. I'm feeling like a kid playing um, on a painting and that's what I love about them. And what I'm also using are the Oniposka markers. Um, you have to be a little bit careful on top of oil pastels. They will not work really good and the oil will go into the nib of the paint pens. Uh, so it's uh, better to take care of that. 
I just add some final details, some little dots and stuff like that. Here I'm using the gold one to to give the whale some more highlights and uh, to make it more as the main image. I'm making white splatters with acrylic ink. I think that brings in some more life to the canvas. Finally, I cut a sentiment with a Tim Holtz dye and adhered it to the canvas. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video today and I hope you get a little bit of a summer feeling and I hope we will see us next time. Have a wonderful rest of the week. Bye!